look at Greenland, okay, 1992, not so many years ago, you can see the red part, okay, the red part is land area, okay. Um, back in 2002, a lot of us has melted. And this will affect the rising sea level because it's water on land, ice on land that melts, it goes into the sea, so the sea level will rise. And there in 2005, nothing more in the south, okay, uh, it's become clear of ice. And you can see over the mountains everywhere, this is in the Andes, um, the thickness of the ice here was one kilometer okay, thick, now that has completely gone. This is in Alaska when I was born, and here nothing more, okay. Uh, this is in Austria, it's all gone, and you can see this everywhere, okay. And I've been telling people of Thailand, uh, of uh, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and Vietnam, that soon the Mekong River, okay, will be completely dry. Okay, at least five months of the year. Why? Because ice in the Himalayas are melting. It's almost all gone. Uh, during uh, December, January, I was up here in the Himalayas, in Bhutan, and I went to Nepal also. There's, uh, there's no ice anymore on the mountains. It's all gone. Even in the midst of winter, it's not there anymore. Okay, so uh, during the dry season, the hot season, of course the normally ice will melt and it will flow down these rivers. But from now on there's not going to be much water flowing down. That is why there's going to be water shortage uh, in these countries. And of course the, most of the ice is in the Antarctic, in the South Pole. Uh, in the North Pole it melts but it does not uh, increase the ice level, uh, so the water level, but here it's on land. So if you have a lot of ice accumulated for thousands of years, melting, okay, and you're getting that. Look at massive uh, pieces of ice, okay, floating down from the Antarctic and disappearing, melting in the sea. It's contributing to the sea level rise. And here, uh, you can see uh, the average water rise all over the world, okay? And in my lifetime, it's almost 20 centimeters rise already. Now, you may not see much here because you keep on filling up your land, your sea, okay? So you try to raise the level, uh, but Bangkok, my home country, we already lost one kil kilometer of land. Okay, one kilometer has already gone uh, from Bangkok. And uh, here's a map by the Americans. They predict the red part is where it will go under the sea. You can see this is Florida, okay? This is Florida. And Miami will disappear. And I just want to show you my country because I'm very concerned with that. Okay, within 10 years, Bangkok can no longer exist. Only 10 years, not so long now, I've been warning the, the politicians. In fact, the whole of the central part of Thailand will soon be flooded. This is the biggest area where we grow rice for the world. A lot of export to the whole world comes from this area, okay? So uh, all this will be flooded and there will be no more rice, no more food for the people. I have a school right here, up here, okay? Uh, when I started the school, I told uh, all my friends, we have, we've got to find a place where uh, it's about 45 meters above sea level, just to be safe, okay? <laughs> so that's why we did not start a school near Bangkok. We went out all the way there, and it's quite safe. So when you look at the islands uh, in the Pacific, you can see that water has already come up uh, to their houses. They've been trying to negotiate with uh, many countries. We 
because they need to immigrate, they need to move, otherwise they'll soon die. Here in Holland, okay, they can exist now because of a dike that goes around uh, Holland uh, or the Netherlands, uh, but very soon they're going to give up, okay, they cannot exist anymore, water will come, and here is a map by uh, NASA that a lot of it will disappear, almost the whole of Holland will disappear underwater. So they're already planning to survive in the uh, future by using houses like this on raft. So there's going to be a lot of problem around the world, okay? Um, but the biggest problem is really the rise in the sea level. When you look at our Earth, okay, and if you look from the Moon, towards our Earth and look at the center of the Pacific Ocean. It's almost half the world. So when the water, sea water uh, level rises, then there's going to be a lot of weight in the oceans, more so than on land. In fact, Asia, uh, the Himalayas, for example, is getting lighter and lighter because ice is disappearing and it's going down into the sea, but the Pacific Ocean is getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And now the world is like a top, okay, rotating in space, and suddenly you start to have more weight on one side than the other. What's going to happen to the world, okay? When you play a top, okay, it will rotate uh, on the axis, uh, it will be quite steady, but then try putting a little bit of clay on on the top, on one side only, just a little bit. Now it will not look, be steady anymore, it will start to wobble and wobble. So the earth will also start to be in unstable. Okay, That is the biggest problem that we have now. And what will happen to the world? 